2.09. RBTs never disclose confidential information without consent from the client. Exceptions are made as required by law or were allowed by law for a valid reason. This includes, but is not limited to, providing needed services, obtaining appropriate consultations, and protecting the client or others from harm. So on providing needed services, you're going to be careful how you talk to other professionals with the client. You can't be like, hey, do you work with Hank? He's about seven years old and has the following diagnosis. That's not how those conversations are usually held. It's A, usually done by your BCBA, and C, it's usually like, to my understanding, we have a mutual client. I believe we need to set up a following date and have some releases of information in place so that we can communicate on this client. Take all the appropriate um, leads for HIPAA and how to have those conversations, which should come down from your BCBA. Um, obtaining appropriate consultations, it's that same kind of thing. Uh, sometimes kids are really difficult to figure out and we're gonna ask people to help us out. But it's not gonna be like, Sarah's really hard, she does this, I think the function's that, and send it on an email. That's wholly inappropriate and breaks all the rules. And um, just by generally going through these steps, we're gonna protect our clients from the harm that can happen from just information being willy-nilly and flowing all about. So there you have it.